Steve McCurry was born on April 23, 1950, in Pennsylvania. He attended Penn State University. He originally planned to study cinematography and filmmaking, but he ended up getting a degree in theater arts and graduating in 1974. He became interested in photography when he started taking pictures for the Penn State newspaper called The Daily Collegian. After working at Today's Post in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania for two years, he left for India to freelance. It was here that McCurry learned to watch and wait on life. If you wait, he realized, people will forget your camera and the soul will drift up into view. His career was launched when, disguised in native garb, he crossed the Pakistan border into rebel-controlled areas of Afghanistan just before the Soviet invasion. When he emerged, he had rolls of film sewn into his clothes. Those images, which were published around the world, were among the first to show the conflict. His coverage won the Robert Kappa Gold Medal for the best photographic reporting from abroad, an award dedicated to photographers exhibiting exceptional courage and enterprise. McCurry continued to cover armed conflicts, including the Iran-Iraq War, the Lebanon Civil War, the Cambodian Civil War, the Islamic insurgency in the Philippines, the Gulf War, and the Afghan Civil War. His work has been featured worldwide in magazines, and he is a frequent contributor to National Geographic. He has been a member of the Magnum Photo since 1986. He is the recipient of numerous awards, including Magazine Photographer of the Year, awarded by the National Press Photographers Association. The same year, he won an unprecedented four first place prizes in the World Press Photo Contest. McCurry focuses on the human consequences of war, not only showing what war impresses on the landscape, but rather on the human face. He said in quote, most of my images are grounded in people. I look for the unguarded moment, the essential soul peeking out, experience etched on a person's face. I try to convey what it is like to be that person, a person caught in a broader landscape that you could call the human condition. McCurry took his most recognized portrait, entitled The Afghan Girl, in a refugee camp near Pakistan. The image itself was named as the most recognized photograph in the history of the National Geographic magazine, and her face became famous as the cover photograph on the June 1985 issue. The photo has also been widely used on Amnesty International brochures, posters, and calendars. The identity of the Afghan girl remained unknown for over 17 years until McCurry and the National Geographic team located the woman. Her name was Sharbe Gula. McCurry said, her skin is weathered. There are wrinkles now, but she is as striking as she was all those years ago. Although McCurry shoots both in digital and film, his admitted preference is for a transparency film. Eastman Kodak let him shoot the first ever produced role of Kodachrome transparency film, which was processed in July of 2010 by Duane's Photo in Parsons, Kansas, and will be housed at the George Eastman House. Most of the photos, excluding a few near duplicates, has been published on the internet. Steve McCurry, recognized universally as one of today's finest image makers, is best known for his evocative color photography.